Okay, this is uh, to try and show you a little bit uh, more clearly how a three-dimensional plane vector equation works. So what I've done is set up a point A in space which is defined by the position vector OA. Now that point A in space on its own is not enough to define a three-dimensional plane. I'd need to introduce at least two more points. So what I've done is added points B and C so those three points now really would help me to define our three-dimensional plane because only one plane exists that would touch all three points. So the plane that does touch those three points I've represented here with the, the yellow. And you have to try and imagine that as a yellow plane which is kind of tilted and, and is floating in space in that defined location. Um, now, what I'm going to do is use these vector OA, OB and OC to define two vectors that are on the plane itself, so vector AB and BC. So if I add o, AO to OB and BO to OC, then what I'll end up with are these two direction vectors. I'm calling them direction vectors in a similar way to w that we did with our uh, direction vectors for a line. In this case they are two vectors that are in this case existing on the plane although later on we'll find that they don't necessarily have to exist on the plane they can also just exist freely uh, as long as they're parallel to the plane. Okay so I've got vector AB and BC the point of this is to try and come up with an equation that allows me to find the position vector of any point that exists on this yellow plane. So I've just chosen a random point P. I want to be able to use some combination of this red and purple vector as well as one of these position vectors. It doesn't matter which one, but uh, to make things easy, I'm going to hide those two and focus on using position vector OA. Now if I use OA as my beginning point, OA plus some multiple of this red vector plus some multiple of this purple vector, because they are not parallel vectors, I could, should be able to get point P using that combination. So if I stretch those vectors out and hide those ones there, now I've got vector OA plus some multiple of vector AB plus some multiple of vector BC which is where the lambda and beta comes in in this case they're, they're our scalar multiples so if I use those three the resultant vector is the one I'm looking for OP so I can summarize all that by saying that a position point P on the plane can be defined as some known position on the plane in this case point A plus the scalar multiple of two direction vectors for that plane. And basically that is the reasoning behind our formation of our vector plane equation that we'll talk more about in class. Anyway, I hope this has uh, been of some use.